in the mysterious realm where video game characters were known to come alive after the arcade's dim lights were shut down, Wreck-It Ralph's world was in dire need of help. A dark force had emerged, infiltrating each game with its sinister presence. It was a time of struggle and despair, where every character clung on to hope in the face of adversity. In these trying times, a new champion had stepped forth into the realm, Marcus Phoenix from the Gears of War game. Ralph, the lovable and misunderstood destroyer, had been sitting on the edge of his brick wall, pondering the events that had unfolded in his world. Fix-it Felix, his loyal friend and repairman, joined Ralph in his contemplation. Ralph, do you reckon we'll ever set things right again? Felix asked, staring into the dark sky above. I don't know, Felix, Ralph sighed. But I do know that we can't just sit here and do nothing. We have to protect our home and all those who live here. It was at that moment that Marcus Phoenix arrived in their world, looking battle-worn but determined. Ralph and Felix exchanged glances and approached the newcomer, eager to know more about him and his intentions in their realm. Hey there, big guy, Ralph greeted Marcus. I'm Wreck-It Ralph, and this here's Fix-It Felix. Welcome to our world. Marcus nodded and shook Ralph's massive hand. Marcus Phoenix. Heard you guys need some help with a dark force intrusion. You heard right, Felix chimed in. It's been causing havoc in all our games, and we desperately need a hero like you. Marcus smiled. Well, I'm no stranger to difficult battles. Let's get to work. As the trio walked towards the looming darkness, they strategized and shared stories of their respective worlds. Marcus was intrigued by Ralph's and Felix's unique abilities and saw the potential in working together to defeat this sinister force. And then I realized, Ralph said, clenching his fists, that I didn't have to be the bad guy. We all have the power to change our fate and become the hero we were destined to be. Marcus nodded in agreement. That's a valuable lesson, Ralph. It's not about the label you're given. It's about your actions and choices that define you. As they reached the heart of the darkness, they found hordes of monstrous creatures swarming around an evil-looking portal. Ralph, Marcus, and Felix exchanged resolute glances and charged into battle. What are these things, Marcus? Ralph shouted as he swung his fists, smashing the creatures left and right. Grubs, Ralph, the locust horde from my world. They must have followed me through the portal. Marcus yelled while taking cover behind a broken arcade machine, loading his Lancer assault rifle. While Ralph and Marcus fought fiercely against the Locust Horde, Felix darted around, repairing the damage to their surroundings to prevent the world from collapsing. However, the trio soon realized that the endless stream of monsters would not stop until they closed the portal. Felix, we need to find a way to close that portal and stop more of these things from coming? Marcus yelled over the cacophony of battle. I'll give it a try, Felix cried as he dashed towards the portal, his golden hammer glowing with energy. The moment his hammer struck the portal, a blinding light filled the air, and the relentless horde of creatures began to disappear. As the dust settled and the darkness dissipated, Ralph, Marcus, and Felix stood among the wreckage, triumphant. Their courage and unity had saved the realm from the dark force's grip. Thank you, Marcus, Ralph said, clapping the soldier on the back. You helped us see that we're never alone in our fight against darkness. Together, we're unstoppable. Marcus smiled. You're right, Ralph. And remember, no matter where you're from or what your title is, you always have the power to be a hero. With that, Marcus Phoenix bid farewell to his newfound friends and stepped back through the Nozave portal leaving Ralph and Felix with a renewed sense of hope and determination to face any challenges that may come their way.